oh man, I tried to make this live, but it didn't work out. So here goes the video. Three, two, one. Hi, my name is E.A. Crespo, and I'm glad that you are joining me in Perspective Log X Lakers fandom. The first thing I want to say is that I want to thank you, all of you that are subscribing to the channel and uh, viewing my videos, liking them. Uh, please comment on them, too, and because uh, I want to hear your opinions about uh, the different things that we talk about in this show. So let's talk about this trade with Pat Beverly uh, going to the Lakers for THD and Stanley Johnson. A lot of people are saying it's too much. Uh, you know, I'm, I was a fan or I am a fan of uh, THD. And uh, certainly Stanley Johnson won uh, every Lakers fan heart. Uh, with the effort that he did in the last season. I do think that they will have a good future in uh, the Utah Jazz. So <clears throat> I want to talk about this from the point of view of a coach, uh, which I, I've been a coach uh, for a few years, and I know a little bit about it. Um, I also was a player, so I want to talk a little bit about uh, as a player from that perspective. And I'm going to guess a little bit about uh, front office for what I've seen uh, uh, and, you know, everything that I could uh, have seen as, as, a, as a fan of basketball for uh, over 30 years. All right. So, actually, over 40 years. All right, so let's start with, uh, as a player. Pat Bev is going to ignite the uh, locker room. Um, and um, he's going to do it, and uh, that's going to confront Ross. So, uh, that's who, one of the reasons that I would say... Uh, that that he's not going to be there, all right? So he's going to ignite the um, locker room. He's going to uh, teach younger players how to do defense, how to play with uh, grind, and uh, that's one of the things that uh, the Lakers want to identify as a grinding defensive team. And I think they are going to achieve it with the, the people they have, the players they have in the roster. And as a player, his impact is going to be on the defensive end. He's, not, he's like a nine points per game type of player. But um, on the defensive end, he's going to do a lot. Um, and uh, everybody knows Pat Webb for his defense. So that's going to be something that is going to go with the identity the Lakers uh, want to portray. So, yeah, uh, it's understandable why the Lakers went after him. As a coach, uh, for me, Pat Bebb would uh, have uh, more sense. Uh, I can run... Uh, Four out, one in with Pat Bev in, in a better way because he moves the ball well and he also uh, catch and shoot. He's a 38% uh, three-point shooter. So he demands people to guard him on the three line because if not, he's going to make all those shots. And uh, he's not a player that, you know, scores a lot, but uh, if you are a 38% uh, three-point shooter, people better guard you. Now, uh, I want to ask you before I go to the front office one, the, the one that, that uh, 
uh, I want to live to the last. All right, tell me how uh, things are going to get if Ross is not uh, traded. Is uh, Are Ross and Beverly going to be able to live in the same atmosphere uh, or not? Let me know in the comments. Now, here is the, the one that it uh, makes a lot of sense uh, why the front office did this move. Uh, there's a few reasons. One is Pat Bev, uh, he's in a, a revenge type of mode. Um, he's also um, been exchanged in a way that another ro roster spot uh It's open, and that allows the Lakers to move Ross uh, in the Pacers uh, trade uh, deal for uh, Body Hill and Miles Turner. And uh, I don't know if they are going to throw somebody else there, but uh, they don't need to. Uh, there might be some uh, trade considerations, but um, that way we would have a monster roster. It, like, if, for example, Miles Turner and Anthony Davis as the front court, then having LeBron as a small forward, and then uh, you have Pat Bev, and uh, uh, let's say um, uh, Kendrick Nunn, or uh, maybe... Um, um, Uh, I, I'm sorry, body heel. I mean, uh, that that would be an interesting starting lineup uh, with body heel, Miles Turner, Anthony Davis, LeBron James, and uh, uh, Patrick Webb. And if he comes from the bench, and it's Kendrick Nunn, the one that starts, uh, same thing. I mean. Um, And, and also that uh, helps us uh, like uh, a closing lineup, you know. I would put them, uh, uh, if I were the, the coach uh, with that team, that would be my starting and closing. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, yeah. Um, maybe, I, I, I don't know if, if Body Hill... As a closer, it depends on what do we need. If we need to hold, um, you know, um, on on the defensive end, then I would probably end up with Kendrick Nunn. Uh, I think. I don't know. Uh, what do you think? Who would you have uh, defending? Because Buddy Hill is not known for the defense. And uh, he kind of uh, lets people pass by him. Um, I don't remember how good defensively Kendrick Nunn is. It's been so long I've seen him play. But, uh, yeah, uh, definitely. And, and, and let's not forget, you know, uh, uh, Austin Reeves. Austin Reeves can either start or come from the bench. Uh, this kid is going to be better. He's going to get a, 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 a you know, higher ceiling. Um, and so let's see. Let's see what happens. All right. So that is what I would say, like, it's most likely to happen, that, that uh, Pacers deal. Hey, but let me know in the comments if there's a possibility for a different uh, deal or a different trade. So, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Um, may God bless you. And go Lakers. Bye-bye.